Hey there guys, this is Nick from Danny's Wine and Beer Supplies and in this video I'll be talking about uh, cleaning and sanitizing your equipment. So cleaning and sanitizing equipment is always really important because it's the main thing that's going to prevent unwanted bacteria from producing in your uh, wine or beer and that's the main cause of having uh, wine or beer that goes bad or produces off flavor. I try to clean my equipment before and after every use and by keeping everything just as bright and shiny as my head I've, uh, I've yet to have uh, a problem with a spoiled batch at home. Before you start sanitizing it's important to clean your equipment first and so what I mean by that removing as much of organic material from your bottles, your carboys, your pails, whatever equipment it is you have. Removing as much of it as you can beforehand uh, and then sanitizing afterwards. So so to clean that looks like uh, rinsing your bottles out really well after you use them. It means uh, dumping out your carboys and pails and make sure you rinse out as much sediment as you can before you sanitize. Stuff like that. So having uh, equipment like a, like a bottle washer or a carboy washer really helps with that. And also an important area to clean is the, uh, the tops of the carboys. Uh, generally the, the upper rim of a carboy is always uh, very hard to get at just by rinsing and so is the neck, so having uh, something like a soft uh, uh, brush like this to be able to reach inside and, and, uh, and scrape it off is a, it's a very good idea. So once, you're, once your equipment's clean, uh, you're ready to sanitize it. There's a lot of different products to sanitize your equipment with. Most of them come in powder form and they work pretty much exactly the same. You're going to take a, a certain amount of powder that'll say on the package how much you should use, mix it with water, that's going to create a solution and then with that solution you apply it to the, the, uh, the inside of your equipment Make sure it, it coats everything, soaks for a little while, and then uh, and then you're good to go. So three really popular sanitizers are sodium metabisulfite, diversol, and aseptox. And I'll talk a little bit about each of them. Sodium metabisulfite is a white powder. It tends to be uh, one of the most popular uh, sanitizing products amongst uh, home winemakers. It's relatively inexpensive. It works pretty well for sanitizing. But for taking out stains, it's generally not the best choice. It's not as uh, as powerful at that. As, uh, as other products are. It, uh, it won't hurt you in small quantities, but it does have a, uh, a strong odor, so it's recommended that when you use so, uh, sodium metabisulfite, you either rinse out your equipment afterwards, or you at least uh, let it drip dry uh, really well. Uh, next up is Diversol. It's the pink stuff. It's generally a little bit more expensive than sodium metabisulfite, and it's a chlorine-based chemical, which makes it uh, really good at taking stains out of bottles and carboys. Be careful if you're a home brewer though and you have stainless steel equipment, it has been known to corrode stainless steel if you leave it too long in there. It is really good at removing stains, it's a very powerful chemical, and so I always recommend rinsing out Diversol really well with water before you uh, reuse your equipment. And next up we got a Septox. A Septox is a little bit more expensive than the other two, but it's considered a no-rinse sanitizer. It's not, a, it's not a very harsh chemical, even though it's very good at uh, killing off bacteria and taking out stains as well. I personally uh, always rinse out my equipment after using it anyways, but it's, uh, it's not something you have to stress about the way you would uh, with Diversol, where you really want to get all of it out. So once again, guys, this has been Nick from Danny's Wine and Bear Supplies, and if this video was helpful to you, uh, make sure you check out our website at www.dannyswineandbeer.com. Uh, there you can find uh, more instructional content, browser products and services, and check out our blog.